Hello everybody, what's going on? I'm Fish Fruit and Cups and Buffs, and welcome to Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I don't care about Uplay. <laughs> Uplay is not what I want to do. I want to just go start a new game. Now, I've played this game quite a bit. Uh, I used to speedrun this game, so I know way more about this game than the others. So, I hope you guys are excited, because this, this game gets started off really quick. Uh, as soon as the loading screen's over, of course. Come on. I always love this opening sequence because it's just chaos. Just like, what have I got into? Hey, look, an assassin. Just kidding, we're not playing as that guy. We're going to be playing as Mr. Edward Kenway, the grandfather of the protagonist from the last movie. Movie game. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Okay, now let's see how well I can remember how to do all this. It's been a little bit, so I'm also kind of sort of used to uh, the naval con uh, controls from Assassin's Creed 3. Dang, I could have got two at once. That's alright. You have to wait so long to reload cannons. It's so nice. Are you sure? Did I get them both? No, I didn't. One more. This is one over here. The big daddy. Oh. I know he's coming after us. We're bringing the fight to them in the middle of the thunderstorm. Because we don't even care. Uh, I must be in the wrong spot. Because he's telling me I can't go that way. There we go. That's exactly what I would do, is walk straight towards uh, <laughs> a gun magazine that's just ignited. Well, that's not good. Is it dangerous? Edward. Hmm? Privateering. Is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Why not sail with the king's navy? Earn a proper wage, sail under gentlemen. The sword of the navy's gentlemen. For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. How long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. Two at the most. All right. No more than two. Promise me. Well, now we know he's money driven. Yeah, they don't waste any time kind of showing you exactly what. Edward's motivation is. Also, there's no way he survived that. Just throwing that out there. Easily would have been dead. Alright, so let's go to the shore. And let's go meet the guy who was attacking us in the first place. I know to hold R2 just in faster. What do you think I'm doing? I played this game before. Someone's really fast for a guy who was just unconscious not 20 seconds ago.
Those are good for you as well. <laughs> Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred skews. I really want to make a Jack Sparrow reference right now. Keep talking. on you now, do you? I see you have wet gunpowder. I'm on to you, Sneaksby. All right. Let's go chase down this assassin. Now this map is huge. It was the biggest map, of course, at the time. I believe Origins and Odyssey are way bigger in comparison. It takes a way longer to get from uh, from each side of the map. But, Will you walk that distance? but you, we'll open the map here in a little bit, and you can really see kind of what uh, what I'm talking about. But most of it is like just sea travel, so the explorable area on foot isn't like super big. And, like, the cities are smaller, like, when we get to Havana and Nassau, the uh, cities are a lot smaller than Rome or Constantinople or even Florence. Can I get up there, please? Thank you. But, uh, I had something I was going to say, but I completely forgot. We're going to grab this viewpoint real quick. I don't think we need to, but it'll help to show things on the map. What are you doing, Edward? But yeah, as far as explorable area goes, there's so much to this game. There's a lot of content. And of course, I won't be covering everything. I'll probably delve into a few things here and there. Pause, get. Where's he running to? Let's grab this treasure, because money is actually fairly important to this game, unlike... In Assassin's Creed 3, you need a lot of money to upgrade your jackdaw, which we'll get to the jackdaw way later. Probably in about three episodes, I think. I think it usually takes about an hour to get there, if I remember from all my speedrunning. So. And you can also skin animals, because apparently that's what pirates know how to do. Alright, let's continue moving forward. I don't want to get too distracted by chests. This is a game I've 100 percent it a, a few times, and I don't have the Platinum Trophy simply because I don't like the multiplayer, and I refuse to do it. On this. Uh, do I want to grab this viewpoint? No, I don't need it. Probably never come back here. Keep your distance. I like how your gunpowder works now. Alright, so now let's, uh, since he shot at me, let's go ahead and take him out. Also, the fact that a pirate is going to be able to actually kill an assassin kind of makes the Assassin's Brotherhood, you know, feel very inferior. Come on. Usually I've caught him by now. I'm not really trying all that much. This isn't, you know, again, it's the first time I've played this game in about two years. Get wrecked, son. Oh, cool. I can install the update file and play multiplayer. That ain't ever happening. Your Duncan Walpole. I accept your most generous offer and await your arrival with eagerness. If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I will not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume of infamous by your secret order. Therefore, come to Havana in haste. 
and trust that you shall be welcomed as a brother. Su más humilde servidor, el gobernador Laureano Torres y Ayala. Very convenient that he says, well, you know, I'm not going to recognize you. I'm not going to recognize you in your uniform. Or I'm not going to recognize your face, but I'll know your uniform. <laughs> but yes, we are now dressed the part of an assassin. But this is Assassin's Creed. Aren't we an assassin? No, no. Uh, you know, we're just not going to talk about that. I guess we'll go up here and synchronize this viewpoint. I love how beautiful this game looks. Like, if I was to imagine what the Caribbean looks like, this comes pretty close. Do I want to grab that chest? No, it's a ways away. I don't really want to waste that much time. Oh, I know how the stocking zones work. Thank you very much. Also, I love that there's turtles, and you can't actually kill the turtles. I think you can, but I don't think you can do so with conventional means. Well, I guess our cover was blown. And I love that the human shield tactic is still in this game. Oh, he's going to try to shoot me. Also, I think I'm going to grab these treasure maps because I'm pretty sure they can lead you to some good treasure if we ever get to the area. Probably not. But yeah, it'll give you, like, coordinates of what island to be on and all that, like, in the bottom right there. I'll show you where it's at. This one's actually here. Oh, yeah, no, this one's actually here. I don't care about it. Never mind. I forgot. By God's grace, sir, you saved me. A profusion of thanks. Is that yours? It is my vessel, yes. Here lies its poor captain, and I have no art for sailing. I can pilot her myself, not mine. You don't mean to abscond with my ship, do you? I'm Duncan. What's your name, Fred? Steed, Steed Bonnet. Well, Mr. Bonnet, let this stay twixt us. But I'm on a secret errand for His Majesty the King, God save him, and I must get to Havana with speed. Oh, that is a relief, sir. Havana is also my destination. Our ways lie together. Natural allies, then. Ah, uh, you put me at ease, sir. To think I took you for a pirate when you first appeared. Did you? Yes. You have an uh, uncommon way of handling yourself. Quick and easy, if I may say. All things considered, I think it's turned out to be a rather fortuitous day, hasn't it? Quite. <laughs> as much of a dork that Steed Bonnet is, I actually kind of like him a little bit. But look how beautiful the water is. You can see the fish and everything. Oh man. It no, uh, my family and I are actually planning on taking a cruise in a couple years, and we're going to go off to the Caribbean, and I hope it is just as beautiful, if not way more beautiful, than it appears in-game, of course. I know the games can't truly, you know, can't, you know, can't do justice too much. Okay. Do I have to wait for Steed to get here? Come on, Bonnet. Bonnet, you are slow. Let's go. Give me some but yeah, you, as you can see on the map, there's a bunch of stuff we missed. Eh, might come back for it, like in between episodes or something, but she'll do fine. There's a strong wind now. Let's strike to full, shall we? Let's strike to full. But yeah, I hope you like sailing, because that is a big, big part of this game. Ah, there's a tug of the wind in my hair. Ah, I find a bracing comfort in the feel and smell of the ocean. The raw stink of, of possibility. 
That's a top way of seeing it, mate. But yeah, the sailing parts are like some of the most boring, but also some we of the coolest. Really <laughs> can I can I make them sing? No, they don't. They're not pirates. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> there's a feature in here. You can actually Those make them sing some sea shanties. Possibility, but most pirates stalk the windward passage between Cuba and Hispaniola. Oh, I see. Yes, that is a bustling strait. Why would you ever bring a ship here? Waylaid by pirates, truth be told. My ship is small, and I have nothing of immense value. Sugar cane and its yields, molasses, rum, that sort of thing. <laughs> There's not a pirate living who'd turn his back on a keg of rum. Hmm. Well, yes. Yes, I suppose that's true. Down to the Royals, Tom! Ground it all on! Full sail. Is this the part? I think this is the part where you see... Yeah, right there. In reality, I don't think the whales would be that close to the island, but that's still really cool. Sailor, Duncan. I did a decent trick at the helm some time ago. Two years before the mast as a privateer. Dash my button. Your life seems a grand one, if I may say. So full of adventure. How marvelous. I've seen my share of strangeness, I. You ever wanted to play Assassin's Creed? while watching Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> Fantastic work. Very promising. Oh, yeah, we get to leave the Animus. But wait. Desmond died in the last game. What are we going to do? All right. Easy now. There you go. Welcome back. Your numbers look good. Now let's make sure we didn't break your brain, all right? I need you to move your head and look at these lights just here. Look up. Got it. And down. That's it. Down. So far, so good. Let's get you up. Also, look at that. It's the Abstergo logo. So, welcome to the Sample 17 project. Before you get started, you're going to need this. There you go. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Hello. Bonjour. C'est bon. It works. In reality, All there'd right. be a ton of static because you're that close to it. Your says you've done some memory research before, but not to this extent, which is surprising. You're very good. Why, thank you. The data streams are very stable. Impressive, right? This building is barely six months old, but Abstergo Entertainment has been a studio for a few years, since 2010. I never really stopped and look at this stuff. Where'd you go? Maybe you saw Liberation? That was our first title powered by Animus. There you are. That okay. was just the tip of the iceberg. Soon, we'll be unveiling commercial Animus servers for the whole world to enjoy. They'll offer passive experiences, of course. Edited versions of real history. But only the exciting parts. And we think we found the perfect subject for our first full-length virtual feature. Caribbean Pirate. So that's your gig. Yeah. It'll just take a minute, okay? Well, thank you, Nancy. Bon journée. I know that voice. I definitely know that voice. Bon, oh. Magnifique. Merci. This is for you. The primary tool of our trade. Your communicator. Power it up and give it a look. It's pretty slick. <laughs> yeah. Use this device I just gave you. I think it's cool, so it's pretty cool. <laughs> you might have noticed that security seems a little light around here. That's because your communicator is your key to getting around. 
I feel like I should have already had this. Like, this feels like orientation, but I've already been working for you for like 20 minutes. See that flashing wireless signal? It means you're hooked up to the elevator. I'll let you do the honors. We're headed up to the Sample 17 studio, second floor. His name was Desmond, by the way. Sample 17? Are you kidding me? They'll explain what all that means later, but... Let's go. Or maybe right now. I don't know. Ah, there's the boss, Olivier Garneau, our CCO. I'll introduce you. Bonjour. Salut, mes amis. Ça va bien? Well, thanks. Have you met our new hire? Just started today. I haven't. Bonjour. What project? Sample 17, the Kenway line. Hayden, Connor... Edward, the pirate. Ah, ar, yar, matey. <laughs> Very exciting. Welcome aboard. Uh, Melanie, can we talk in your office for a minute? Just let me get this one settled and I'll see you in five minutes. C'est bon. Nice to meet you. I wish I could say the same. So? This is the sample 17 floor. We're diving into the Oh yeah, you can also look in some of this stuff. It'll give you like files. Uh sticky note 17. This one important? No, it's not. Desmond Miles. We're pulling all the best stuff from his DNA. And hopefully one day we can forge some fantastic experiences from what we find in there. Yeah. How'd you get his DNA, huh? Huh? I'm looking at you. This pair of legs is John, one of the wizards in IT. He's just fixing something for you. Not fixing. Calibrating. Calibrating. Right. So here we are. Your very own Animus workstation. This is all yours. So sit back, relax, and find us some good footage. If you need any hints or tips, the Animus is loaded with tutorial programs, so you'll have no problems. And I'll check in on you later. Happy pirating. Happy pirating. I think I can move around. Is, is that guy there? Can I see his ID? I mean, you can barely see. Oh, well, whatever. Let's read this little sticky note real quick. See if it's anything important. Um, yeah, it doesn't look important. If you want to read it, you can. Just pa pause the video. We're going to hop back into the Animus and go see well, Mr. Kidney. Abstergo Entertainment's proprietary ancestral memory research tool. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about how to operate your Animus console, please contact your project supervisor, Melanie LeMay. You have been registered as part of the Sample 17 project. Your primary research target is Edward James Kenway, born March 10, 1693, Swansea, Wales. Calibrations complete. All signs normal. All systems optimal. Extra neurotransmitters activated. Welcome to Havana. Of course, the game will play that in like 20 seconds. Probably less than that. There it is. Nope. Also, the theme music for this is so cool. Got a nice rocking beat and everything. Uh, lively Havana. I've been here once before. It was a truly awful pleasure. See someone you know? No, no, no. Just putting on a friendly face. I shouldn't want to be mistaken for a pirate again. Right. Flash rogue like yourself must be cautious. Yeah. At this point, Edward's 23. And already the captain of a ship, kind of. Mad to think Spain and England were at war two years ago, isn't it? Here I am, bartering with Spaniards like they were my cousins. Wrong, Duncan. No, it's nothing. Sand in my hampers. But where's the best squad in town? I'm dying for a quick kip. Or a siesta, should I say. Um, I'm just headed to uh, public house now to meet some merchants. I could fetch 
show you the way. Well, lead on. I hope you'll tarry a bit while I conduct my meeting. It'd be a great relief to have a man of your stature nearby. Also, I want to point out this, uh, this sign right here that says pirates beware. But pirates are spelled different than we would normally. Drink. <laughs> so they don't take kindly to pirates here, do they? Wonder how many stolen reals bought these men this perch. Hey, my girls. I have missed you. You weren't in the last game. My girls. Hola, ladies. Hello, no girls. No, they charge money for that kind of privilege. A few dozen real for every hour of knowing. Keen to beat them. No, goodness, no. I'm a, I'm a married man. A married man of their forte, mate. <laughs> Steve, you move too slow. But look at this. Look at this. Look at this town. Myself, Duncan, just as you have. This rusty razor's nothing to admire. Even so, I appear a mere kitten walking so close upon you. Perhaps a small dagger would suit me. Let's see what he's selling. Maybe I'll buy a sword too. We'll both jump rank. Oh, we'll be quite the ladies. Twin devils. <laughs> oh, hey, we've come to the purchase weapons Let and gear so you can learn there. how to do it. I did save your skin. Oh, uh, yes, of course. Cheers. Cool. All right. So let's buy some swords. Sword sets. Um, let's see, how much do I have? I have 1,200. Um, I could get the, let's see. These are the same, so I might as well buy, buy the British cutlasses. I will eventually want these, because these are like the best ones. Although those look super cool, so I might go with that. Money is really easy to come across in this game if you do a bunch of the uh, pillaging of boats. Sadly, still, it'll do in a pinch. Oh, puff a duff. I have led us astray, Duncan. Oh, no matter. I'll get us a better view. What are we looking for? Uh, a tavern, sort of courtyard interior. My goodness, you're an agile chap. Of course Every I am. Every finger's a fish hook. That's how uh. you tell a true sailor. <laughs> yes, a fine way to put it. I need to go over to this side because there was an animus fragment. Although those things are not nearly as important in this game, yeah, still like to show it off a little bit. Yeah, let's go this way. There are 15 in each other, and, and that's cool. They spread it through the entire uh, map, and it tells you where, you know, how many of each you have. And I'm pretty sure you can press the, is it, which button is it? Is it this button? Yeah, you can see what all you have. How many contracts, chests, song sheets, and all that. I need to get... Can I... I can't multitask. <laughs> there we go. The coolest thing that was added to this game is the fact that you can now fast travel from every viewpoint you see. I think I see the place. We're not far. Hang tight. Come on, jump. No, jump. Thank you. Stop or I'll break your knees when I catch you. Ah, no. I gotta catch this guy. Pardon me. Coming through. Whoa. Well, I guess I tackled him. You robbed the wrong man, mate. A fellow with dangerous friends. Alright, let's go find Steed. Don't worry, dude, I ain't after you. Only the guy who wronged me. Hello, Steed. Duncan! By Jove, you're alive! Of course I am. That filch was no fuss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah! We've arrived. We have arrived. Take your time, I'll be just here. Fancy meet no Welshman deep in Dago country. I'm English myself. Biding my time till the next war calls me to service. Lucky King George. I'm in a piss pot like you flying his flag. Oh! Oi! Skulk! I've seen your face before. Use mates with them pirates down in Nassau. 
Shut your fucking gob or I'll fill it with shots, you hear me? <laughs> Edward, is it? Uh oh, we've been made. Fancy a bar fight, lads. Ooh. You want a dust up? I'll give you one. Come on, lads. Oh yeah, the fighting tutorial. Oh, now I have to throw him. Come on. Can I just... I'm trying to just fight him. It won't let me press the square button. Oh, I can press... Okay, here we go. Nice kicks. You want some too, bud? Oh. Oh yeah, smoke bombs. Do I have smoke bombs recruited immediately? I do. We need to leave. Oh, whoa. Let's see if I can grab the shanty page while I'm here. We can talk about those in a second. Provided I can get away. Okay, maybe not. We're gonna have to tail it out of here well actually I still want to go after that shanty page so maybe I can still yeah. cool and these will allow your crew to learn new songs and all sorts of good things Thought there was something I could hide in. Oh, of course. Usually I don't have this much difficulty, but I don't always go for that shiny page. I figured I should. Perfect. <laughs> Give us feedback. I don't care. All right. Well, oh my lord. <laughs> Trying to do an outro here, bud. Well, I'm going to run away and then try to uh, try to hide. You. Well, thank you, random citizen. <laughs> Am I safe here? I think we're safe here. Nah, maybe not. <laughs>
Come on, there's a hiding spot up here somewhere. Perfect. All right, well, <laughs> that was very exciting. A little bit more exciting than I wanted. But thank you guys very much for watching as we stare at Edward's uh, bloody nose. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. In the next episode, we're going to continue impersonating Mr. Duncan Walpole. I'll probably grab a few collectibles on the way, and I will see you guys in the next episode. So before you click out, before, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you hit that little bell icon if you want a little bit of cups and buffs over time. But for now, I'm Fishbeat signing off, and I will see you all next shift.